can't do that until I get a fucking gyro. Coming down the mountain here. Are you map marker? There you are. God damn, why do these people like being next to dragon shrines? I mean, I understand the allure of having dragon shouts. But seriously, people, kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous, people. Blech. There's a vicious bear on the loose. You there, hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires. That's... Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. And before y'all ask viewers, I have no what I have no clue what the fuck they're talking about with by the nines and by the eights. No goddamn clue at all. So we gotta help this prick kill the freaking demon bear. That don't look like a bear to me. However, that does. Oh, I get an easy kill on that fucking wall. Where you going? Apparently I found this demon bear's blind spot. I certainly have no no reserves about murdering something out of murdering something out of cheapness at all. Cave bear. Sheesh. Demon my ass. Alright, Brosephina. Oh, it's a nice wraith. I was about to say, what the fuck, what the fuck, why are you attacking the air? And apparently I went outside. I'm just gonna finish helping this bro out, and off-screen getting myself a gyro which of course means I'm going back to fuck I don't have that ruin discovered don't know how well I'd have managed by myself you have my friends you've helped me so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Ethron wants He's still at that fort in the Stendhal's Beacon, I assume. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. 
his own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Oh, boy. So, the problem that I am posed with now is the fact that my go-to place to get to the uh, El the Dwarven Ruins no longer exists. So I can't just fast travel there, go inside, murder things until I get the gyro that I need. Nope. No, I cannot. What the doodle do? I could search around shops, but that is less than something that is guaranteed. So for now, viewers, I'm just going to go on and call it, because it's just going to give me a headache trying to track down where the dwarven ruins that I need to go to is. So... Next time you'll see me, I'll be standing outside of the, uh, Dwarven Ruins. Fuck. Welcome back, viewers. Took me a little while to track down the fucking ruins that I know of. And, but, I got myself a, uh, Dwarven... Dwarven gear. Up here, uh, Gyro. So let's see if you'll accept this now. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single Gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Well, bitch, I've got your Gyro. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Ethan expects me to go? We're meeting at the oh, Fort Dongard. He's been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Mm -hmm. Well, there we go. Uh, something of no viewers off screen. I did get a level up, and this point I just immediately stuck right here into silence. Along with that, while off screening, I went ahead and snagged myself become eternal again. If y'all want to know where I found that, go back to my run through of the Vampire Lord side quests. I fucking love become eternal. There we go. <sighs> become eternal is my best friend. I love it, and it loves me. So now that we've gathered the two assholes that this guy wanted me to get, fucking bitch with your dwarven gear, hi Elk, how you doing? I hear you really, really, really like Mia. But after she disappeared, you became a homo and decided to like, uh, Haseo instead? You are a very strange man, Elk. You know this, right? This odd rant was brought to you by Shut the Fuck Up. I do what I want. Uh, let's see, off screen, I also, while going through and getting the, uh, dead vampires. Was it just me or did I see a floating axe? Anyways, while I was going back and getting the, uh, Become Eternal Dragon Shout, uh, one of the Forsworn dropped an elven dagger, so I went ahead and took the upgrade. 
Um, I'm, I'm, I, I don't see myself buying up the, uh, I don't see myself buying up and upgrading my Oven Dagger. Personally. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there. What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawn Guard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of one word. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. <laughs> If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do? I do not exist. We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with this non existent asshole also does not have a very bad itch on his back. On that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunma, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready Much to better. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with each other. Jerk it, jerk it, jerk it. Pop. Okay, let's go. What can I say, viewers? I get bored. Very easily at that. I don't know why you're sobbing and talking to me, woman. I don't know where to go. I'm following you, assholes. Fairly well, I think. What are you doing? That's so dangerous. Strangest accidents can happen at any time. That's why I always try to be ready for anything. Oh, y'all are actually moving now. Good to hear. Hope you're getting along with you. Well, that's useful. God damn it. Okay, I guess I gotta go up there then. Time to track down some stairs. Oh, those look like stairs. However, apparently it is not. Oh, hey, Smithy. <sighs> I just love doing things blind. Aha! You cannot hide from me, stairs. I was made to go upstairs. Doors? No! Sorry, sorry, viewers. God damn it. I'm so lost. God damn you guy, why can't you just be down here? You know, where I don't have to wander around for 30 fucking hours just to find a way up to you?
Hey, hey, hey! Hey! I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. What could I do to help? Irene needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunma. He has something for you. Watch your back. Whoa. This what are you doing here, woman? Showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. You know, I really was not intending for that to actually pop up as an option. But I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. About you. The reason I was down there and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this out. Fucking many moves. My father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy, and he just kind of lost himself in it. Okay. Sort of prophecy. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched on to said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. You took a big risk to come here. There's something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. Maybe it was the fact that I didn't slaughter you when you first came out of the thing. That was the plan, yes. Assuming the rest of them can trust a vampire. Come on, I'll need you to help convince them. Alright, you've heard what it has to say. You know, dude, you really have one epic beard. Because of that story about the prophecy about some vampire trying to put the sun out. Do you actually believe any of that? I felt because she has the Elder Scroll. Who knows? Maybe it has a death wish. Maybe it's just insane. I don't really care. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret. You lay a finger on her, and I'll, I'll, I won't I won't think twice like about slaughtering your ass. You do. Your friend here is going to pay for it. I mean, by far, she is one of the best followers I've ever had. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us well, anything, because they're all half a continent away. I can kind of see this playing out exactly like, uh... Playing out exactly... Like the vampire side quests, so after this mission, I'm gonna do what I normally don't like to do and off screen a bit. Of course, using a separate save just in case that it actually turns out to be slightly different, but just to uh, see if it turns out to be exactly the same. If so, 
I will skip ahead to a point where... Uh, I'll, if so, I'll skip ahead to a point where, uh... Where it's actually a completely different mission. Because so far, the only difference in the missions was going to get that guy his two allied fucktards. I mean, this is, I can predict, the exact same mission as it was before. We're gonna go to the college, ask around, they tell us to go to Dragon's Bridge, they tell us that the Moth Priest went south, and we get information that tells us to go to where the real Moth Priest is buried, only instead of having Dawn Guard in opposition to us, we've got vampires in opposition to us. You know, the basic uh, shit shave shower thing. Uh, when if, if it's if I get the exact same location like it was in the uh, vampire missions, I'm just gonna save and recording and off screen to see when the missions start to differ. Yes, yes, I do. Damn you, snipe caboose! I believe I've made myself. Yeah, that's the right door. So, for one more time, we shall talk to Ulrog. You are now in the Arcanium. Yeah, we actually already now, all know this. Since this is, from what I can tell, gonna be exactly the same, I'm just gonna skip over all the dialogue, because y'all will have already heard it in the Vampire Side Quest mission stuff. Hundreds of years have gone into a sibling this collection. Yeah, going back to the Dragon Bridge. Then when I get to the Dragon Bridge, I'm willing to bet that it's going to tell us to go down or south from the Dragon Bridge. Then we'll find a bunch of dead bodies. Then we'll teabag it and get location of another Moth Priest who I can only assume we won't have to fight but that's just a minor that but that might turn out to just be a minor difference so it won't really matter I'm talking about major differences like a completely different mission sort of major difference Daytime, so I can't see vampires coming after my ass. Yo, bro! What's this? Moth Priest. Ah. We rode through town not south. Okay. Time to head south. Where I suspect I will find a dead Moth Priest along with some dead Imperial Guards. And potentially some dead deads. Or maybe some dead re deads. Ooh! How about dead Gibdos? Yes! Fucking Gibdos. Well, 
You seem rather dead to me. Well, you seem rather dead to me. Yeah, looks like it's turning out to be exactly the same. I'm just gonna loot your fucking body. Check that. Why not? Did not actually mean to select that. However, I do mean to select that. Okay. Take your damn note back. And the vampire note is telling me to go all the way back over there, which is exactly where the other note told us to go, only for the dawn guard instead. And instead of, of course, having to fight a handful of dawn guard and a armored armored troll, I'm willing to bet we got to fight a handful of vampire masters and a few dreadhounds. That's what I can see happening. But let's find out. be weird to not be able to, or to be able to just to not be able to uh to two yeah this is the exact same area and dreadhound so yeah it's exactly the same only with slightly different enemies instead of Dawn Guard Wolves, we got Dreadhounds, and instead of... Instead of Dawn Guard Wolves, we got Dreadhounds, instead of the Dawn Guard, we get, uh... Vampires, and instead of the Armored Trolls, I bet we get Gargoyles. So, viewers... Since this looks like it's going to be exactly the same, I'm just going to go on and stop the recording here and meet y'all at either the last mission, assuming that none of the missions from this point on change, or the next mission that is not the same as the vampire missions, because really, y'all don't need to be, y'all really just... I can't see y'all being bothered to watch me play through the exact same missions twice in a row. So yeah, we'll see y'all next time, viewers.